Hey, welcome back to creativehomemovie.com. This is part three in our three-part series on the camcorder buying guide. In the first section, we learned about the different types of camcorders. In the second section, we learned about the different types of formats. Today in part three, we're going to learn about the different kinds of recording media. And this is the most important because this is what's going to screw you up if you get it wrong. There are four major formats that you'll have to choose from. The first one being mini DV tapes, then flash memory cards or memory sticks, recordable DVD media, or onboard hard drives. Let's take a closer look. Most users find that a media card is the most convenient way to record their video. The video files become immediately available for playback on a computer. On the flip side, these things are small, yo. They're easy to lose, and over time, you'll find that it becomes very challenging to keep track of all the video files that you've acquired. Recordable DVDs. This will be your best choice if you want to play back your video immediately on a set-top DVD player. On the other side of the equation, DVD was never considered to be an acquisition format. It's highly compressed and contains lots of video artifacts. For the video purist, this is not the best choice. Recording onto an inboard hard drive is also convenient. You'll be able to play back the files immediately on a television set or a computer. But this is my least favorite format. The video files are compressed quite a bit, and the hard drive is susceptible to motion. So if you like to shoot handheld a lot, you may end up with a lot of busted recordings. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's too many formats. I don't know what to do. Just relax. I'm going to tell you which format I use, and I'm going to tell you why. For me, it's still the mini DV tape that is the best overall choice. It has the least amount of video compression of all the consumer formats. It's easy to archive, and it's easy to keep track of. On the flip side, you will have to clean the record heads on your camcorder every 12 to 13 hours of use. And the video files will have to be digitized before they're available on your computer. Okay, so there you go. It's basically a matter of choosing convenience over quality. And there's one more thing I should mention. All of the information that I gave you is really good to know, but nothing is more important than actually going to a store and picking up the camera in your hands. You want to make sure that all of the buttons and control surfaces feel natural in your hand. If it doesn't make sense or feel good, then you're not going to use it. And if that's the case, don't buy it. All right, kids, let's put it all together now. If you've watched all three parts of the buying guide, then you'll know exactly how to choose a new camcorder. And you're going to be ready to go out there and make your own awesome home movies. Woo!